Hello there, YouTube friends. Dustin Bellinger coming today. It's been a while since I've been able to do a video. Kind of some changes going on in the life. Wife took a new job, so that uh, has added to change around some of my schedule here. So just don't have the same uh, times that I did before to try and make videos. And, but and school has started. Yeah, school started for the kiddos. And Zach still has time to show his toys in my videos, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. But anyway, I've had some pickups come in. I thought I'd take a few minutes here to share some of them hey, with you. Okay, got a couple of stuff for the Cornhusker PC. Uh, yeah, it's, if you're gonna show it, you gotta actually have it show up. So the Mir Abdullah relic, rookie year relic. Oh, the, and there's a Sunday and there's a this is a Sunday spectacular by the Sunday way. spectacular at a Spectra for Nadama Sue relic. And, and nothing is a Dolphin Spider. Yeah. And here we go. Autograph Prince of Mukamara. Yep. Autograph of Prince of Mukamara at a Spectra. Is that his name right? Yep, he yeah. did. It's a hard name. Good job. It's a hard name. Hey, be careful with this. All right, and a couple things from Tuber Auctions I'll show. Uh, I got stuff from Andy at Three River Sports Cards. There's his card. I only bought one card, just wasn't able to stick on for most of his auction, but was there long enough and picked up this one pickup here. Uh, Charlie Back Blackman dual relic card. It's a white and the black there, so check out Andy. Does good stuff. And we have Michael. And these Michael. were from Michael uh, Jordan. Yeah. Well, hang on. I wanted to show this one. Lad. These came from Dustin Abraham's auction here, so picked up this uh, 91 upper deck Michael Jordan card. And, you know, this one I had as a kid, and I must have sold it or traded it some time along the way because I sure couldn't find it. And I, I don't remember doing it, but I, uh, so I traded, I uh, decided, oh, I'll pick that one up here. So, and then a couple other things, uh, just like Bryce Harper. Winner to home on Derby. Yep. Number to 50. And a couple of Miguel Cabrera inserts. So there's the stuff from Dustin, uh, Dustin Blake, a uh, new channel name. So check him out if you haven't. And then a couple of graded auction picks, cups I'll show. A couple of PSA items. I've got... Uh, 1976 tops, Dave Winfield, PSA 7. Now, nothing too spectacular there, but one more nice Hall of Famer. And then this one here goes towards my 1961 set. I got Ernie Lombardi, Hall of Fame catcher with the Reds. Uh, that one. And then couple of oversized items that I picked up just kind of been on a streak lately looking at some of the oversized stuff picked up this here Whitey Ford these are all J publishing uh, photo pack what does that mean? pictures well, these were, were sold in like a package of pictures they'd be uh, you, so you go to like Yankee Stadium for a game and inside Yankee Stadium they'd be selling these photo packs as uh, souvenirs and inside the pack you know would have you know pictures of like eight or ten however many players they made them of and it'd be of all guys from your team so you know this one would have had you know Whitey Ford it would have had Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris and who all uh, in there as well so these all came these came from those photo packs so then got the whitey ford um, and this one here is willie mccovey and 
And then one here. For Hall of Fame PC. And for the... Uh, and you sure like for the Nebraska collection as well you, is you, Bob Gibson. You sure like collecting these Huskers. Yep. And, and, I, and these well, he's not a Husker because he didn't go to the University of Nebraska. He went to the University of Creighton. Oh. Which is in Nebraska. Which so. is in Nebraska. And he's also from, was born in Nebraska. So. Where was he born? Huh? In Omaha. Of course. So there we got, got a little bit of staining on this one here, but overall still still nice and really good picture of him and then best pickup for this time here is this 1939 Gaudi premium and this is a uh, Billy Herman and these are a really cool premium set I've got a few of these already here and this one's in really nice shape. Unfortunately, it looks like whoever owned it before ended up writing their name on the back of it. So, I mean, that kind of does, does a number to the grade. But as far as how it presents, just inside the top loader, or if I take time to get that and grade it, how it would present in the slab, it would be still look pretty darn nice. So, definitely a cool item there and not something that you come across every day. And these are actually found in a couple of different tints. There's like some, uh, some that are more of a black and white and this one's like this reddish tint to it. And these are a little bit harder to find than the normal black and white tint. So that's all I've got for pickups to show you today. Hope everybody's doing well. I know I haven't been watching as many videos lately. Just been things have been really busy for me, but trying to get back here into the swing again real soon. So I'll be talking to y'all again soon. Everybody take care. Goodbye.